Hi everybody. Today I have a new plugin for you. And actually it's um, three plugins. It's um, two instrument plugins and one effects plugin. But now first, let's hear it. <laughs> It's the electric organ. And the electric organ is an instrument that made its way through the music history. So um, I took some notes. Um, let's see. Well, um, obviously it was uh, present in jazz, in gospel, and that even during the 50s or 40s or even earlier. Um, well, it was in the pop music from the very beginning uh, until today. Uh, it was during the 60s it started uh, being present in beat music and all that stuff. It made its way to hard rock and even to metal. There were bands that featured the organ as a lead instrument, such as Emerson, Lake and Palmer or Exception. Um, well, it was used in soul and in funk music. Uh, it was used in reggae. <laughs> And uh, during the 80s, it was even used in new wave music and synthesizer pop. Uh, it was used in hip hop music until today. Um, we heard it in house, even in house music. <laughs> Um, and in acoustic pop music uh, and even in uh, modern electronic dance music, this instrument is still present. So uh, I decided to make a plugin and I'm very happy that I got that done. I hope that I can do that, but it was very difficult and I'm happy to share this instrument plugin now with you. So let's have a look at it. Okay, now this is the plugin. And of course I connected that to my MIDI keyboard and have the input enabled so I can play notes. For installing the plugin you need uh, to install the package uh, Tukan Studios Software Instruments. It's not included in the Series 2 plugins, it's in Software Instruments. If you already have the Software Instruments package installed, updating the package should do. And the plugin can be adjusted on four pages. So this is the organ page where you have the draw bars and all the organ settings. And then we have the amp page where we have the um, amplifier settings. Then we have a settings page and we have a preset page for our draw bar presets. But well, let's start at the organ page and I don't want the video to be too long. So this time I only explain the basic features and some things that are special about this plugin. And I think the keyboard players and organ lovers will get the other things themselves. And um, I'll explain them in future videos next weeks. So let's have this plugin a bit bigger so you can see everything. And now let's start top left. So we have these um, three modes here. FX only is just as it says uh, when you have it with the mouse. Um, you can select this mode if you're not using the organ, but the audio effect. So the audio you run into the plugin will be processed by the rotary amp speaker thing. Then we have this echo mode. Um, here you can play the organ. This needs a bit less CPU than the high quality mode, but this mode uses another technique to generate the audio. And only in the high quality mode there are actually all 91 tone wheels emulated in the code. This has a bit higher audio resolution and only this mode features tone wheel detuning and um, all that stuff. But the echo mode really works well too. And maybe one other important thing is that you can select the MIDI channel it will respond to. And up here um, we have these little boxes. Uh, DB is the draw bars, so you can play something and select the draw bar setting. And you can set up nine presets here. So just select a preset and do your setup. And later you can select the presets you want to play here from these buttons. 
And of course you can go back to your drawbars you see here. Most of the other things should be kind of self-explaining, at least to those um, who had organ plugins before. But there's one switch that is not so common for organ plugins and this is this switch on the top left. So now we're playing type B organ which can sound like this. And we can switch it to type C organ. So here's an example for the sound of the type B organ. And here are some classical sounds from the type C organ. Or... You know what I mean, I'm not the greatest organ player. Or that, um... You know that it would be untrue know that I would be a liar Well come on baby, light my fire Okay now let's go on to the amp page and here we can select if we have this rotor or rotary amp uh, if we have a static combo amp or if we're just using the direct out from the organ without an amp the combo amp and the rotor amp can have their microphones selected. Let's go back to the rotary amp. And here we can do all the settings about the speakers and motors and stuff. And for the microphones, we can select the angle of the uh, microphone positioning and how strong they will react to level changes of the rotating speakers. And most of you might know about these rotary amps um, that they have their motor, which um, rotates the speakers so we can switch the motor off and as we switch it on it starts rotating like this and we have the um, low speed and high speed mode let's switch that so that's Speeding up and slowing down is kind of realistic. And now with this amp speaker setup and organ page, uh, we can already design a lot of sounds. And of course, I made some presets for you, like this Oye Fool and Black Magic, which can be used for a Latin organ like this. Or even Let's just hear trench towns cry. And now let's see the settings page. And what we can do here is touch the rotary speaker. Of course we won't touch the speaker when it's rotating, so let's stop the speaker. So we go to organ, rotor off, back to settings and we see the speakers stop rotating and now I can just grab the horn and turn it or the drum and turn it. Here we can adjust the reverb settings but the more interesting things are the performance controls and here we can select if we start and stop the motors with a low C. So I can press on and now when I press the low C on my keyboard the motors start rotating and when I press it again, the motors stop. And I can select the octave where it starts. So I press a low C, the lowest C on my keyboard, for example. And now the plugin knows which octave is the lowest on my keyboard. And this octave can be used for more than just start and stop the um, rotating. Um, as it says here, while playing, you can recall your drawbar presets. You can make on page four from uh, C sharp to A, while B flat is playing the actual drawbar settings. And with B, you can turn the percussion on and off, and the next C would be in the next octave. For using this um, C sharp to um, B, 
you would have to use um, on on this switch here. So use low octave for preset control. Let's go back to the organ page and see it. I press the low C and you see the rotor is going on and off. And right now we're playing the draw bars we see here and we can record the presets with the other keys. And with B we can uh, switch on and off the percussion mode. So everything's fine. Let's see the settings. We have two switches left and one switch is that we can use the pitch wheel for the rotor speed. So let's start the rotor. And now it is in low speed. And when I now move the pitch wheel upwards, it will be fast. And for slow again, I pitch down. And this last switch is um, use the mod wheel for volume control. So I switch that on, go back to the organ and you see my output is now off. And now I can use the modulation wheel on my keyboard to control the output. So with these low octave keys and both of the wheels, you can really play this organ dynamically. Baby, when you're gone, I realize I'm in love. Days go on and on Baby, when you're gone Then we have other settings for drawbar leakage and the key clicks. Uh, you can play around with that and try it yourself. Well, and that's basically it. Making this plugin really was tough. And because it was so difficult making it, it would be no surprise to experience some little bugs. During testing and making all the presets, I think I phoned most of them, but well, we'll see. Of course, if you find bugs, you can report them in maybe in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Okay, as said, I'll go into detail in future videos, but that's it for today. I hope you have fun with the electric organ plugin. I hope you have fun with all the other plugins and bye bye.